Okay, now I'm going to point out a problem we're going to have when we're modeling, and that is that the front, side, and top images are not going to line up correctly when we model this truck, and that's very important. So how do we fix it? Well, that's quite simple. We go here to the object window, open it up, and select this little button right here so that our cube becomes visible, and you can see it now, and then we want to go to the front viewport. Now, just a quick note, if you've loaded up the scene file, it's going to be really super easy to line this up because I've already got the cube lined up where it should stretch out to exactly where you need to. There will be a little bit of tweaking just to show you how it's done, but it should be pretty simple. If not, it, it'll take a little bit more tweaking for you to get it to line up. Now, let's begin. Pull it out to the side of the truck just the main body. Don't worry about, about these pieces right here. Are those, those are detail pieces we'll build later on. So let's pull it out to the top of the truck and the bottom of the tires, the top of the cab and the bottom of the tires. There we go. Perfect. Lines up at the bottom and the top. There we go. Now we've got it lined up with the front of the truck. Now push F3 to go to side view. Now we're going to go ahead and size this to the length, but a note that we need to make or an important thing we need to understand is that do not move the top up or down or the bottom up or down because it's lined up with the front image. And if we do that, it messes up the alignment again, but we can adjust the length. So let's do that. There we go. And line it up with the front. See how we did. We got to pull out just a tiny bit more. And it should be pretty easy because I've already done it ahead of time and I may leave a little room for tweaking so that we can show you how it's done. So there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good lined up. And you can see it lined up with the top pretty good and it lined up with the bottom pretty good. But let's say that it did not line up correctly with it. The length did. We've got that figured out but the image was different. Now let me show you. Let's go to Edit, Config All, Select your Viewport, not this cube, and let's go ahead and distort the, or move our image up a little bit. And now that you can see that it's not in line, and let's say that I loaded it up this way and now I have to fix it. We don't want to move the cube. Making that point again, don't move the cube. You can just the length match the image, but not the cube. So what we want to do now is we want to go to Edit, Config All, Select Your Viewport, and now we can move this up or down so that it can line up with the cube here. Let's go. That's the highest point there. So here we go. Too far. There we go. There we go. Now let's check the tires. There we go. We're lined up pretty good. Just a little bit, one more little tweak, and I think we're good to go. There we go. And we need a little bit more tweaking. So let's go back down just a little bit. There we go. All right, there we go. We have it. Front, back. It's lined up, and the sides. Now let's go to F2. Now, once again, the only thing we can change here on this one is that we can't move the cube at all because we've already got it lined up with the front and the side, the height, the width, the length, and all that. So we have to adjust the image to fit. So let's check out the back. Looks pretty good. The side. Like I said, you should have it pretty good on adjusting this because if you've loaded up the scene file, it should almost line up perfectly with some tweaking, then which is done here. But then again, if it has not, you can go here again and you can move it right or left, adjust the Y length, and you're adjusting the image to fit the cube here completely. There's no cube adjusting here. So there you have it. We're lined up and we're ready to go and we're ready to start modeling. So see you in the next section.